Hey, what's going on guys? Brad here. Today I'm going to show you how to get your Xbox One controller working on a Mac. So I have the white Xbox One controller and I'm going to do it through Bluetooth. I'll show you through Bluetooth and through wired in case you don't have the new Xbox One S controller. First what you're going to do is going to click the link in the description below. Go to this website right here. You're going to want to click this link right here. 360 controller install 0.16.5 DMG. So you can also do this with an Xbox 360 controller too. We're going to click it, let it download. As you can see, it downloaded. Relatively small file. You want to go ahead and double click it. Hit continue, 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 agree, install, and enter your password or touch ID depending on what Mac you have. You're going to have to restart after this, so hit continue. Alright guys, so the install just finished, so you're going to go ahead and hit restart. Alright guys, I'm back from restarting my computer. You can go down to system preferences right here. You should be able to see Xbox 360 controllers. Don't worry, Xbox One controller will work too. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on it. As you can see, nothing is connected. First, I'm going to go ahead and connect Bluetooth. So what you want to do is you want to turn on your controller and then hold the sync button on the back. Make sure it's flashing. And then you want to go up to Bluetooth on your computer here. Make sure it's on. Go open Bluetooth preferences. And you want to look for Xbox wireless controller. You're going to go ahead and hit connect. You should see the light stop flashing. That's how you know it's connected. And you can see it's connected through the computer right here. You can go ahead and close that out. And open system preferences back. Go to Xbox 360 controllers. As you notice, it might not be recognizable here. So one thing what I use is a game emulator for old PlayStation games. Here you can see Spyro, Ripto's Rage, I'm a big fan of it. So it works with my controller just fine. I'll go ahead and hit load game. You can always go up to here and hit edit game controls. So I just sit and map whatever ones I want. There's no noticeable lag at all. See, it works just fine. Probably one of my favorite games. I heard it's getting remastered for PlayStation 4. If there's something that doesn't support the wireless controller, we're going to want to go ahead and wire it in. Port on the back here. So we're going to want to take a micro USB cord. The correct orientation now. See the prongs right there you want to make sure they're up and go ahead and plug it on in there USB end and plug it on into your computer and you'll notice that your controller will vibrate so if you go over here to system preferences you should be able to see your controller now if I go back to Spyro here and I want to play it again it should still work regardless might have to edit there it goes. Xbox One controller. I want to make sure of that. And here we go. It's working. I don't know why it's lagging. So as you guys can see, it's working. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more, and let me know what you think.